<laughs> Greetings, Weight Watchers. It's love with Fit to Love Me. <laughs> and I'm going to not cry on video is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be not crying on video. But I do want to say... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm looking at my um at my Weight Watchers book and I'm so bummed. I just came from my meeting and I gained 3.2 pounds. It says I gained 3.2 pounds. So that now my weight is 271 and I am going to try not to jump off of a bridge. Like, I'm so serious. I'm so disappointed. I mean, it's like, okay. You know, I'm not saying that I don't have evidence as to why, you know, an idea as to it's very solid, you know, sure ideas as to why I gained. But... I'm still very disappointed, okay? Can I just be just very, very, very disappointed and very even, I am surprised about the number. Like, I am surprised. I was just like, oh, hopefully I just maintained. I'm sure I didn't lose, but seriously, I gained back everything I lost last week except for 0.2 pounds. And it's so funny because I knew that when I started talking, I was gonna sound like I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna sound like I'm normal and I'm stable, but I'm not. I'm like totally, Freaking, I'm so upset. I really am. I'm so upset. And uh, <laughs> I came on here to vent. And okay, so here's what happened. What had happened was um, <laughs> first, okay, <laughs> there's a list, right? And I'm like, I'm so disappointed. There's a list, right? First, I had a, I had like a binge, but I counted all the points and I pulled myself back in. So I went back, I went over my um, points by like 15 points, right? My daily points by like 15 points, but I went into my, um, you know, my weekly points. So, and they're 49 weekly points. So that really leaves me with 35 34, right, points left, weekly points left. So I don't see what the problem is. Then, to like make up for it, I think like the next day I probably had like one point less and I feel like, you know, I was like under my points the other days. Um, what day of the week was that? I think that was like Wednesday. No, either Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm thinking it was Wednesday though. Tuesday or Wednesday. Mm, I know what day it was. It was Wednesday. So Wednesday, I went over. And then Friday, so Thursday, I was fine. I, I mean, Thursday, I was below my points. Wait, was that Wednesday? And then Thursday, I was below my points. And then Friday, yeah. And then Friday, I had my dad's birthday party. It says, it says I survived my dad's birthday. So I had my dad's birthday party. And, um... It, the, the my the my food selection was not good it really wasn't and I mean I didn't know like there were very small portions but they were just like fattening portions I would say I had um they were very small portions that the, that the that the place serves but then we we ate twice because we were we were still hungry so and then the second time I thought I was making a, a, a good choice and then it turned out that it was like this I, I chose like um I cho chose lobster, like whatever kind of lobster, whatever, with um, as an appetizer. Uh, I have my appetizer the second time with um, with like wild rice or something. Which okay, fine. Then it comes and it's like in the, these round fried balls, lightly fried. <laughs> no, but there are these round fried balls, and what I have before was like um, shrimp and grits, and the grits were so creamy they were amazing like first of all how do you make grits that creamy they must not be using the same kind of grits i'm familiar with but they were super creamy so fine there's that then there's a birthday cake which i 
felt like I did a good job. I even took a picture of the birthday cake, what was left on my plate because I didn't eat all of it. But my dad had two cakes. So somehow I think I conveniently forgot that I had slices of the other, two slices of the other cake because it was a pound cake. You know, a pound cake doesn't seem as fattening as the cake with all the icing and all that kind of stuff. But look, I ran the points on that cake and um, yeah, it's like 10 points for like a three ounce slice or something like that. Two and a half ounce and 12 points for a three ounce slice. Okay. And I had two of those slices. And I had all the rest of the food. Okay, but, so okay, fine, 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 fine. But this is, I'm serious about this though. I don't understand how it is that had I not been on program, right? Had I not been on Weight Watchers and I ate this on a regular, like in a regular week on my regular life, I would not have gained weight. I wouldn't have gained 3.4 pounds. I would not have gained 3.4 pounds from eating, like from eating what I ate. That's what I don't understand. Like, I don't understand why is it, why it is that, it's like if Weight Watchers is not a diet, right? Why is it that whenever I go over the points, like I gain really quickly, like I gain all the weight. Like, I don't understand. It's like, it kind of that means like it is a diet. If we're restricting the points that, that we're, the, the calories that we're eating, that means that when we eat, go back to eating normally, we, we gain more weight. So I feel like that's what, how I, I lost like the weight to get to this point. So I don't understand really how to counter, how to counteract that. Like, obviously, I guess it's like, okay, I guess it's I'm trying to figure it out. I guess it's saying that like, okay, if I was eating enough to sustain 280 pounds in the past, and now I'm down to 270, then of course I'm gonna gain weight when I eat that amount enough to sustain to but I don't understand like seriously I don't understand how I gained 3.4 pounds maybe it's probably maybe it's like the last time I gained and that's another thing this is the second time that I've done this like yo-yo like oh I gained I lost three point whatever pounds and then I lost and then I gained it right back so I'm feeling better right now as I'm talking but I literally felt like I kind of felt like giving up and I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm in a tenuous moment right now. I understand that giving up is not going to help me. I'm going to give my own advice. Listen, love, as time, time is going to pass anyway, and you might as well be losing weight. Point two, point two pounds every, in two weeks. Uh, as you go along. So if you lose 0.2 pounds every two weeks, Miss Love, then you'll be down by five pounds in five years. <laughs> Gosh. This is, uh... I'm like, really? Really. So, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I did feel like eating afterwards like I did feel like I just came home from from there and I was like well let me just come and, and make this video but I did feel like like I wanted to like we still have the cake in there I want to have a piece of cake I wanted to so I, I, I do see the connection between the emotions and then wanting to eat and all I can say is that I'm grateful that I have been going to the meetings. I'm grateful that I have this few weeks behind me of, you know, um, of, of being on, on program, on track. I'm grateful that I have YouTube to come to, you know, uh, you all to come and talk to the event with. Um, and I'm glad that I have YouTube to go to to look at videos. When I came home, and I opened my computer, there was um, a video up there by someone and she, I can't remember her name, um, I just found her. And she said on there like, something about like the day after cheat day, you know? And I, all I heard, I had heard when I, before I left the house, I heard like the first part of the video, just her saying that, oh, you know, after a cheat day, I do a detox. You know, I, I, I do some kind of detox. So I'm gonna listen to what she, <laughs> she's saying, I mean, before, I wasn't, you know, I didn't have, 
I, I wasn't um, thinking that I was going to be, I mean, I didn't feel like, oh, you know, oh my gosh, I have to listen to this. You know, I was just watching it like as, no, you know, like normal. But now I am going to, yeah, I'm going to be watching that video. And thank goodness all of you, and then I watched Rob Reno earlier today on his, you know, regain, you know, on his regain challenge. So he's taking several weeks to get back you know, on track with his weekend. I just pray that it won't take me several weeks. It'll probably take me a couple, it might take me a couple weeks to get back, you know, to where I was. My the really disappointing thing is that, um, and I'm not saying, oh, like, you know, I'm just saying that totally I could be where Rob was or I could be, is or worse than where Rob was by just getting off and not coming, coming back at all. So, I, I mean, what I'm saying is that his coming back and making videos about coming back is um is inspiring to me it's it's going to be helpful to me um i'm looking i know you're like what are you looking at i'm going to show you some things that i just bought from weight watchers but i'm just like mm -hmm, these are looking kind of some of them are looking kind of sketchy like they're not in the best condition i'm not really sure but um if not i'm gonna i'm gonna see about returning them if they're not but um I mean, exchanging them. But, so, so, a good sign, though, is that I came back here to make this video. Another good sign is that I bought these things that I'm about to show you. <laughs> another good sign is that, another, like I said, a helpful thing is that I have your videos. I can, I can literally go on YouTube and, like, 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 type in regain and get, like, and get, um inspiration you know to like whatever your words of wisdom are, are about getting back on track and um one thing i could just think of is that i have to just like not think about it i have to act like it never happened i think for myself like for me other than you know figuring out what what i didn't do right um i mean to tell you the truth other thoughts that came to my mind were to go exercise like go exercise i needed to come home and, and do something so i didn't come and exercise plus I have on this heavy sweater and I didn't want to go like walking around the mall or whatever with this heavy sweater on but um, I'm kind of thinking about I think I mean maybe it'll make me feel better even if I just go walk off the frustration and go walk off the um just like you know get my energy going to like walk off the frustration and walk off the the the, the tension the nervous energy I might it might I mean the fact that it's coming to my mind means something so maybe I should listen to it, but it's like, I'm not really into exercise like that that much. So it's like, am I gonna do that? I don't know, but um, I did go walking in the mall last week. So, I don't know, maybe I will. We'll, I, I don't know, I doubt it, but maybe I will. All right, so I went to my Weight Watchers meeting today and um, here, oh, here's my booklet. I went to the Weight Watchers meeting today, and I think it's really cool that Weight Watchers is very educational. Like, they're really pro-education, and I'm very grateful, you know, that I, I'm happy that, you know, I to, before I go, I'm like, why am I going to sit in these meetings? But last week's meeting was helped, was, was inspired me to go walking in the mall, and this week's meeting inspired me to think about what I'm going to eat for Thanksgiving. I was thought it was going to be a big deal because I hadn't planned on going anywhere for Thanksgiving, but my plans have changed and I am gonna go to dinner on Thanksgiving with a good old fashioned Southern, you know, uh, you know, uh, cooking full of fat and lard, probably not actually lard, but pretty much, yeah, ch um, animal fat and um, it probably is lard, right? <laughs> um, just not, um, you know, out of a, not lard out of a can or something, but um, good old animal fat and butter and all that kind of stuff. So at Weight Watchers this week, they had us um, create it like they want us to fill out this sheet where it tells you how much like for us to be able to plan how much um, you know each like uh, dish is gonna how many points each dish would 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 cost, and then they. Um, they're telling us how to how to make a balanced plate, um, how to balance my plate our, my plate out. Um, I think they said that they have they 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 sell these um, some some plates portion plates with a starter kit. But I'm not sure if they're just like you know 
they give you this little plate thing and tell you basically to like plan what you're gonna eat. So I mean, this certainly I'm not gonna just kind of give people the idea of like thinking and planning ahead and how are you gonna like the, the meeting today was about how are you gonna plan for it? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna get through Thanksgiving? And I think it was helpful to me to have, I guess, the fact that I gained, that I was really listening. All of a sudden, I heard it in a different way than I heard it in the past about, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get, how am I gonna get through without gaining? Um, and um, Yvette from Yvette's losing to gain. She was, uh, <laughs> she was uh, asking about that a couple weeks ago, and I was like, girl, I don't have any um, advice for you, but uh, you know, good luck with that. Cause I was like, I, you know, I'm not, I don't have that issue, um, thank God, because I don't, you know, I'm not having holiday um, events and I'm not, I mean, you know, parties and stuff like that at work and all this kind of stuff for, and I thought I wasn't going for Thanksgiving, but now that I am, I'm joining you that and freaking out about what I'm going to, how I'm going to do it. But I thought this was really cool. They have these gourmet measuring spoons. It says serve it up in spot and uh, in style gourmet measure serving spoon set. Um, who said measuring cups need to be hidden in a hidden in a drawer? Now you can measure and serve in style with our gourmet um, measure serving spoon set. It's a great way to make sure you you place a reasonable and accurate portion of the food you want on your plate, no matter who's at your table. Their sleek, attractive design and style fit any decor, and these attractive pieces are perfect for using every day and even for special occasions. So the spoon set comes with the with both half cup solid spoon or um, for dry or liquid foods. So here's a the half the half the half cup serving spoon. I was looking at them because it seemed they seem like a little. I'm not sure what color they're supposed to be. They seem like a little tarnished. So I'm not really sure about that. No, I don't know what they're made with, but um. Hopefully they wouldn't. They won't turn colors or anything weird like that. I, I bought them for seven. The set for seventeen dollars, and I wouldn't normally do that <laughs> um, if it weren't for this being, you know, a perfect half cups half cup serving. Oh, that wasn't the right one. That wasn't the solid one. Here's a solid one. Right, solid perfect half cup serving. Okay, and they have a little Weight Watchers emblem on there. So that's cute. And um, I don't know, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, it's hard to see. There it is, Weight Watchers emblem. And so then they have this one, which is the, the slotted spoon, right? So a half cup slotted spoon for pasta, steamed vegetables, and more. And they've also provided a quarter cup ladle for for sauces and gravy. So, I mean, obviously I'm not taking this stuff to Thanksgiving dinner, but I just like to have the, the idea of having this in the house for um, for serving for serving myself. Yeah, I'm not really liking the way this, um, the finish on this one, on this is. But, um, it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see can't really see it on here. See the little scratches right there? Or something, it looks kind of weird. But anyway, yeah, and it's kind of tarnished over here in the ends. I don't know how this would hold up. But I like the idea, I like the concept. You know, it was only 20 bucks, 17 bucks on sale six dollars off this week at our center probably because they need to get move them but anyway i think it's a really good idea it's a good sign that i bought them that i'm interested in continuing to stay on track and to have you know have my servings pre servings pre-measured it tells you on the back with the sizes like with the serving sizes it tells you right there with the serving sizes i don't know if you can see that but it tells you that's a half cup. So I like that. And um, I feel like since I'm talking to you, I'm back, I'm getting back on track and I'm going to watch your videos. And, you know, thank you for those of you who have, who have subscribed to me. Thank this. you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for making your own videos and being there and giving, giving support. That's really important. Um, yeah, it's really important. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.